if you are looking to orchestrate your AI agents, then maybe have a look at this new framework tool called as Maestro. When we say orchestrating a sub agent, it is not that hi fi concept, it simply means how the multiple agents can communicate with each other and they can perform an objective or a task by helping out each other or working with each other. There are already a lot of tools available which are doing that such as AutoGen, Crew AI and there are heaps of them. So Mestro tries to do it in a slightly different way because it enables you to have liberty of a lot of LLMs including OpenAI's GPT, Anthropic's Cloud, Google's Gemini or through LM Studio or even with Olava. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to install this Mestro on our local system and then we will integrate it with Olama. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am going to use for this video. Because I will be using Llama 3 70 billion and Llama 3 8 billion for the purpose of this demo. Because we need one model for orchestration, we need one model for sub agents. So for the orchestration, I'm going to use Llama 3 70 billion and for sub agent, I'm going to use Llama 3 instruct version. Llama 3 instruct is, I believe, just 4 gig, but Llama 3 70 billion, even in the quantized form, is around 40 gig. So make sure you have around 50 gig available disk space on your system because it's a quantized version. So I guess around 16 GB of VRAM should be enough. But I am using this Ubuntu 22.04 and the NVIDIA card from Mast Compute is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. That should be more than enough for this video. So let me clear the screen. And now in order to get installed, make sure that you have Olama installed. And if you don't have Olama, just go to olama.com and from there, simply click on download and then whatever your operating system is linux windows mac you can simply follow these instructions for example for linux just grab this command and run and it is going to install olama on your system then if i do olama list you can see that i already have downloaded uh, these models you would just need the instruct and 70 billion instruct for this so for example if you don't have it if you want to run run it simply do olama pull llama 3 and then either instruct or 70 billion dash instruct and it should download the model for you and you can see here that llama 3 70 billion is around 39 gig whereas llama 3 instruct is 4.7 gig and i have just downloaded it minutes ago let me clear the screen and in order to keep everything simple and separate i always create a conda environment so i'm creating this conda environment with the name of Mastro, so let's wait for it to get created and then it is also going to activate it, which is good. Do not take too long. Let me clear the screen and you can see that our environment is activated. Let me also git clone the repo of Mastro and I'm going to drop the link to it in video description. That is done. Let's get into that and let me clear the screen. Also, make sure that you have torch, transformers. And I believe you would also need rich. And um, there is one more component which I'm forgetting. Olama. So you would need these components to be installed. So let me install them. Let's press enter. Most of them should already be there. But let's do it for the purpose of the video. Let's wait for it to finish. And it took a fair bit of a time around four to five minutes, but it got installed eventually. Now let me clear the screen. So that is all the installation there is to it. Now in order to run it with Olama, all you need to do is to run this script mestro-olama.py and it is going to access the Olama on localhost at the port 11434, which is the default port of Olama. And you can see that it is checking all the models. And then now it is asking me please enter your objective with or without a text file path. So I'm just want to say, I want to find happiness. It is calling Ola orchestrator for your objective. Let's see what it does. Let's wait for it to come back. 
and it loaded the model and then you see it is saying that since this is the starting point we'll begin by breaking down the objective into smaller manageable tasks so the next task subtask it define what happiness means to you and identify potential sources of happiness and then these are the potential sorry i'm just going up just to show you what is happening and then it is defining the happiness here and then it is also checking about deliverables deliverable is a concise definition list of at least five potential sources of happiness that align with your definition and then it is just orchestrating these sub agents the agent is going into the definition potential source of happiness and this is all olama is working and these are the potential five sources regular morning yoga sessions and all that stuff and then once the task is completed it is sending the results back to olama orchestrator very very nice and because the model is quite big it is 70 billion and it is doing lot doing lot of churning in the back end and i have just 48 uh, gpu vram so that is why it is taking bit of a time of course the more gpu vram you would throw on it the more your performance will be and you don't just have to stick with 70 billion you can replace it with 8 billion so now on second thoughts maybe i should have tried it out with Lama 3 8 billion and i will also show you once it's done as where you can set that model so let's wait for it to come back it should not take too long now and then it has returned us and then uh, ola Marcus trader is saying it it is giving it next subtask it is saying track track and refine happiness sources and then it is asking it to implement a system to track progress and refine the identified sources and then also it is telling it what needs to be done that ask yourself which activities bring me the most joy are there any adjustments needed to optimize and then also provide a concise report detailing your tracking system any refinements made to the happiness sources and insights gathered from reflection session and then it is sending the ta task to the lama sub agent which is just taking the task and then this is the prompt for it and there are few deliverables for that sub agent and then this is the result it has given with the complete report about morning yoga weekly and all that stuff if you keep coming down it is just going through so you see what is happening here is that orchestrator is very nicely knitting together the whole conversation around sub agents and the more complex your task would be the more i think there will be more sub agents just talking to each other sending their results back to the orchestrator who will be compiling the results back and then uh, checking the next actions so let's wait for this one to come back now and you see that now it has moved on to the next task and then again uh, it has given it more deliverable de deliverable and stuff so instead of carrying on and with, on with it i'm just going to press ctrl c to cancel it let me clear the screen now if i do the ls dash ltr here you will see that we were calling this file uh, maestro maestro dash o lama and if i open it here you will see that these are the stuff which we were doing like here you need to change your model so instead of 70 billion let me put in here maybe llama 3 8 billion so i'm just going to remove this and then i'm just going to put 8 billion here and then similarly i'm just going to put in here llama 3 8 billion so let me quickly do that llama 3 8 billion sorry 8 billion and that is done so let me save this file and exit from here that is done let me clear the screen let me see if i already have the 8 billion one yes i already have it so now we can run it with 8 billion one and once you run it it is going to search for llama 3 8 billion and then it says do you want to continue from last task just say no and you can just say maybe simple one what is one plus one and then it is calling the olam orchestrator for the objective hopefully this should be faster than the previous time yeah it is much much faster it even completed the task 
very very quickly which is uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so that's it guys they also have a flask cap but it is a bit buggy so i won't recommend using it at the moment because it needs a lot of stuff and there are some typos too so because the project is very new still evolving but i think even this one is uh, up till this point this is amazing really good stuff so that's it i'm going to drop the link to this repo in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching